welcome to this Guitar by Numbers Guitar Anatomy Further Learning video. In this video we'll go more in depth with the electromagnetic pickup style sustainer system. I'll explain how it works in greater detail and then I'll discuss the controls and demonstrate the functions of the system. Before we get started let me tell you about the gear you'll hear. All of the guitar tracks in this video are recorded with a Bugera 333XL tube amp, and that's going into a Randall ISO 12C isolation cab, which comes loaded with the Celestian Vintage 30 12 inch speaker. They've been recorded straight into Ableton Live using a Focusrite Scarlett 18i20 interface and a Sennheiser E609 microphone. In this video, we'll be taking a look at a Jackson DK2S Dinky a solid body guitar equipped with the Sustainiac Stealth Pro system. This guitar features a humbucker in the bridge position, a single coil in the middle position, and the Sustainiac Stealth Pro transducer driver in the neck position. The controls include a five-way switch as a pickup selector, a mini toggle on-off switch for the sustainer system, a three-way mini toggle to select between the modes of the sustainer, a drive knob, as well as a master tone and a master volume. When the sustainer system is switched off, the Sustainiac transducer driver behaves like a typical active single coil pickup. So what is a transducer driver? A transducer is any device that takes one kind of signal and turns it into another kind of signal. And a driver is a device within a system that directly transmits motion to another part of that system. The first step in this process is plucking the string, which creates energy in the form of a mechanical wave. This mechanical wave, called a transverse wave, interacts with the magnetic field around the bridge pickup. The bridge pickup turns that interaction into an electrical signal. The electrical signal then goes to the circuit board of the sustainer system, where it's adjusted and amplified and then sent to the Sustainiac transducer driver. The driver turns the electrical signal back into vibrational energy and returns that energy to the string in the form of pulsating magnetic waves. This prevents the string from losing its energy so that the note continues to ring. One of the coolest things about the return of the vibrational energy is that you can actually feel its effect resonating through the body of the guitar. This is a program that uses a smartphone's internal accelerometers to measure vibration. And it's going to allow me to show you just how much vibrational energy the sustainer system can produce. Because the world around us is in constant motion, there's always some vibration that the accelerometers will pick up. So here is what that natural base level vibration looks like with the system off. That small blue spike was me flipping the switch to turn the system on. And now you can see the intensity of the vibration and just how much energy is being fed back to the strings by the transducer driver. As I flip the switch a second time, you can see how the vibrational energy drops back to baseline. This is the circuit board at the heart of the sustainer system. You'll find the sustainer system's trim potentiometers here. A trim pot is used to make semi-permanent adjustments to a circuit. This trim pot adjusts the output volume of the neck pickup, allowing you to match the output level of the neck pickup to the other pickups installed in the guitar. This trim pot adjusts the total gain of the transducer, increasing or decreasing the sustainer's overall effect and creating a maximum output limiter. This is similar to the volume limiter on your smartphone that prevents you from turning your earbuds up too loud. This control is entirely separate from the drive knob, which we'll discuss in just a moment. This is the compartment for the 9 volt battery that powers the system. The output jack on this guitar is a switching jack, so the connection between the battery and the circuit board is automatically disconnected whenever the guitar is unplugged. This helps to preserve battery life. As I mentioned earlier, the system has three modes two of which feature harmonics. Harmonics are a type of overtone that's created by changing the frequency of a vibration. You may be familiar with the harmonics that are created by tapping a vibrating string at the fifth or twelfth frets, or the pinched harmonics that are common in rock and metal music. Thank you. 
This toggle switch allows you to choose between the three modes of the sustainer system. The first mode is straight sustain, where the pitch remains the same. The second is a sustain that slowly turns into a harmonic. And the third mode is a sustain that quickly turns into a harmonic. The intensity of these effects is controlled with a knob, called the drive control. The drive control determines how much of the vibrational energy is returned to the strings. When the drive knob is turned all the way up, the effect is strong and never ending. As the drive knob is rolled off, the effect becomes more gradual. When the drive knob is rolled all the way off, there is no sustain effect. Sustainer systems are a great tool for creating predictable feedback effects, like those made popular in rock and heavy music. Or create unique legato tones like those you might get with a bowed instrument. or for creating harmonies over a sustained note. Thanks for reading Guitar Anatomy and taking the time to learn more about the electromagnetic sustainer system. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and be sure to click that notifications bell so you'll always be the first to know when there's new Guitar by Numbers videos. For Guitar by Numbers, I'm Rev G. Tuxbury.